The Alice Experience is an exploration of the world of Alice in Wonderland. It's based on the 1865 British classic Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. This large-scale production allows the audience not only to see the story, but follow it around meeting the characters, some of them being described as a little mad. Well, I think it's a, a, a British classic, um, Alice in Wonderland, and we should all know about it. The story is fairly crazy, but the characters are so memorable and iconic that we wanted to um, capture the characters. Oh, I'm late! Late! We have put our own little twists into the story, a bit of a subplot going on, a bit of humour in there, and a few little modern day twists as well. But a lot of the characters, the Mad Hatter, March Hare, the Caterpillar, all these ones we know of, the Terrible Queen of Hearts, they're here as well for people to meet. And we hope that um, people will really feel immersed in the story and it'll help them perhaps want to go back and read the book or see the film and um, think about it themselves at home after. Walking round you wouldn't even know you were in St George's Hall but even though the team completely changed some of the space here there's a reason why they keep coming back. It is this beautiful building in the centre of our city up until recently um, not very many people had come here actually, it was mainly for people going to concerts or corporate events and our productions have helped make it accessible for just normal people who maybe don't usually go to the theatre and stuff like that but to come into this beautiful building and have a really fun exciting time too. So as you can see, St George's Hall has been completely transformed into its own wonderland. Here the characters come to life and take you on their own journey. I better hurry up. The event is put together by Christian Charity in Another Place, which uses the arts to share their message and develop community partnerships. Volunteers from these communities make up the production team of around 700 people. The cast is drawn from people we've known in the past and people we've met. There's groups of brownies and guides and scouts and uh, community groups who've made some of the props who are, which are here. We have 85 speaking parts, a very complicated rotor because we're performing every half hour, every day for two weeks. There's also 160 people in the non-speaking cast. Those, those are different groups of playing cards, and they are from groups of um, adults with additional needs, some special schools, and a mixture of other children and adults as well, from Warrington, Chester, Southport, different parts of Liverpool, drawn from all over. Not everyone knows each other, but actually when we're here, putting it on, there's a wonderful team spirit. At the end of the day, we're here to have fun uh, and hopefully let the audience have lots of fun as well. 150 years on and the story of Alice and her unusual friends still manages to keep bookworms intrigued, inviting a new audience of young readers to immerse themselves into the story helps to make sure the adventure will continue for years to come. Charlene Smith, Bay TV News.